fact, this is that, uh, that uh, I think we're going to deal with. One of the things that <clears throat> this community has always been a strong supporter of the staff tax holiday. And uh, it's a big booster. I love that down there because we're on the border and the sales tax holiday brings money in from, from uh, Florida and uh, we, we benefit from that. Uh, uh, a challenge each year because we have got some, some advocates that uh, do not favor it. that it doesn't benefit the state when it comes to the uh, This past year we were able to get it included in the tax reform package, quite frankly because they know the people of the state of Georgia really like that. And it was it was put in to sort of sweeten the deal, sort of like those say a little bit of sugar has to go down. Uh, was, uh, the challenge is that it was put in and it, it was a sunset, so it has to be reused every year. So uh, we were facing the challenge of keeping that. Uh, each year that I've been with uh, the people, uh, it, it, every time it comes up, it passes unanimously. No one has ever voted against it. To the truth of mine, no one does that I know has ever voted against that. Without that, you know, everybody votes for it. Probably not on the on the floor, it's, it's behind the scenes. And you got people up there that believe that this is not a good thing and they're struggling. It's hard to get next leadership. Sometimes we need to step out here and do this, but we will be facing that again. Uh, and another challenge that we're going to be faced with as part of that uh, uh, bill that uh, we were able to get the sales tax removed on energy from manufacturers and agriculture. We also got the uh, most of the agricultural input items for all race same tax exempt. So we got a bill that exempted almost all of the input items on, on agricultural production. So those are the system business. Uh, you might be a, a tire we pay. Uh, you're gonna be facing a situation where these items are now if they're used in agricultural production and not on road equipment. It's going to be sales tax exempt. But one of the big changes in that was in the past, these items were sales tax exempt. Now, they're not sales tax exempt unless the person has a, a certificate from a, a gate, Florida Agricultural Tax Exemption Gate number. You got to file with the Department of Agriculture to get a, a, that exemption to get certified as a legitimate farm. That means the retailers are going to be facing the situation that people are going to be coming in there that uh, uh, they want that tax exemption, but they ain't got the number, you've got to set the tax on it. It's going to cause a little bit of headache, but uh, overall, I think in the long run, once we work the piece out of it, it's going to be real beneficial. 